guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ottoman Empire, where we get, well, we're trying to make sure the Empire does not become the sick man of Europe, and we are doing pointless conquests in the, uh, well, not pointless, because we're going to have to do them eventually, but little bit fortuitous conquests for all these different lands over here in India, so that the British make sure they have a land access through us, and that way they can start invading the uh, Persians. If you didn't already know what my overall general strategy for how I'm doing this is, that's basically why I'm using them. Okay, and right now uh, we're about to finish up with another technology, which is going to be nice. I'm, I really can't wait until we finish up with that technology. And in population-wise, we have mostly Turkish people, Greek, Sundai, Maasai, lots of different people are coming into our culture, which is going to be nice once we figure out what we can do with them. I mean... I don't know, thinking about the entire world and all the people we're going to have to conquer, it's going to be interesting. Let's just leave it like that. It's going to be interesting. And let's see, we finished up with that. Another technology finished. We got more educational thoughts. Let's see, is there anything else I need to start doing? Um, In terms of basic chemistry, I would love to start producing guns by now. Let's see, is there any like, specific... I don't think there is a specific technology to start producing guns, but... I have to make sure. Armory's production. All right, there we go. Start getting a mechanized mining operations. That way we can su start supporting more men in the fields. So mechanized mining, and then after that, I'll go back to educational stuff because we're gonna need lots of educational stuff, especially since we're gonna be conquering a lot. We're gonna need lots of educational stuff. Okay, go right here. Now the British are now moving in at a rapid rate, and I think now we're at war, basically the entire Central Asia. Wow, I feel kind of like a, a mean person right now, because I'm just invading all of Central Asia without really much care. But you know what? I needed Persia. I needed Persia, and I needed the rest of this land to get to Persia. It's going to look it's gonna look kind of like my lands are kind of weird, so we're going to stretch all the way from up here to all the way down there. But you know what? We could basically say, well, I was about to say we're going to be the longest empire ever, but I just realized the Chinese and the Russian Empire beat me by a lot. So, we could say we're the biggest empire in the Middle East, because I don't think anyone has that claim, not even Russia does, so, we're the biggest empire in the Middle East, that's our claim, that's our glory to fame, okay, and right now we also have some, uh, colonial points, which I do like, and you can also do some, can't really do colonization yet, of course, because, like, we're too, way too early in the game, uh, and it seems like the British are conquering all the land, we do need them to go conquer, which is good. We do need the British to go conquer. That is definitely something we do need. They're conquering at a pretty rapid rate too, which is good. They sped up. They sped up our conquest by a lot. Like seriously, if they were not there, our conquest would still be in the slowest range. But now they sped up our conquest by a lot, and I'm loving it. Okay, let's see. They're gonna move in all the soldiers over here. Uh, actually, we could probably bring back all of our soldiers. Actually, deploy. We don't need our soldiers anymore. Now that the British are here, we can just have the British go fight everything for us. Good old Britain. Always there to help you guys out. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I was imagining like a good sitcom show called The British Help You Out. And it's like, every time, the punchline would always be like, the British would, you know, everyone has some kind of difficulty of, the fa of like, let's say, it's central, let's say it's centralized around the family. And, you know, there's this guy that's, a, that's from Britain. And, you know, the family always has these issues, and they're always talking, and they always have these things, these conflicts. And all of a sudden, you know, the British guy will always be, like, there and give some kind of wise, wise sage wisdom and then, like, solve everything. And everyone's always like, hey, the British are always there to help. He's always says that. That's his catchphrase. It's always like, the British are always there to help. And then he plays that music. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Somebody's got to make that sitcom now. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so let's continue on with our expansion of, well, basically, we're just trying to get our administrative tech, administration back in order, so let's get our administration done with here. Along with us, almost done. We just have literally one more turn, so give us, like, one more month, and then this, this one should be done in, like, one more month. There we go. It's done. Okay. Let's go and move focus from here. Remove focus. Let's go move down to Akawa. And, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm more focusing in on this area than over here because mostly I need to get this area underneath my control because this is probably where my majority of my of my uh, infrastructure and army are going to be built. If I must be honest with you, that's probably where it's going to be. Okay, let's see. And Brit British are moving in quite rapidly. 
I am quite enjoying watching them uh, kick apart everyone. Uh, it's, it's just glory times. I'm also... Afghanistan's actually fighting back pretty hardcore, but... Uh... Could they actually fight against the British? No. <laughs> I just remember, I mean, if they had the Punjab Mountains, they might be able to. Well, it's not the Punjab Mountains, but I call them the Pu Punjab Mountains. In fact, what are they actually called? What are they actually called? Mountains. Well, that's very vague. So, these mountains right here, I, they're not called the Himalayas, because the Himalayas are right here. Are these, are these also, I don't know, somebody who knows geography. Please tell me, is that also part of the Himalayas, or is that the is that their own mountain range? Because I thought, I've always thought that that's own mountain range, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm completely wrong in this. But anyways, um, yeah, it was, uh, what I was going to go with that was that you can't really defend against the British unless you're Punjab and you have those mountains, because those mountains will protect you against all sorts of dangers. But if you're not Punjab, it's insanely difficult. Like, I would almost call it nigh impossible. And yes, I know I'm going to drop from a great power stats. I can't... Especially in beginning places of the Ottoman Empire, you can't really stay as a great power. I know that's going to shock a lot of you guys, but you really can't stay as a great power as the Ottomans. Especially if you want to play the game right. They just... They just have too many problems in the beginning for you to stay in that great powerness. But, doesn't mean that I won't be coming back into great powerness. It's just... Give me a little bit of time, people. Just give me a little bit of time. I'll be coming back here in a little bit. Once also the British also finish off my land. There we go! Alright, now we have a little bit. We're still at war though, because we are advancing Warhawks. Let's go finish off the Afghanistan people, because they obviously want they obviously want to fight us. I don't know why, they just do want to fight us. And we do have the Ottoman Asia! We have Ottoman Asia, everyone! It looks quite beautiful, if you ask me. Okay, and next thing we have to actually start working on is... Let's see, release nations are about 15 infamy? Yes, okay, then I know what nations I'm going to release here soon. To like, because this is how I'm going to make sure I make sure I keep in power. Make sure I'm going to release some nations and then, and then go conquer other nations. Like, release tiny little nations to go conquer huge regions. In fact, the next region I'm probably going to go after is Egypt. Because Egypt is a land that I need to do... A land I need so I can unite all my empire under one roof. Because otherwise, we're, we're scattered like mess. Seriously, we're scattered. Okay, you guys come back in our land. And let's see. Do we have the ability yet to build what I need to? No. But we do have the ability to build can factories. So, I can now go to that region I wanted to go to earlier. This one right here is really good for like building, like building can factories. Because look at that. It already has iron, it has fruit, and it has... Cows. I mean, that's basically all you need for a can factory. I mean, look at this. Look how perfect this would be. Look at this. The only thing we're missing is fish. Okay, but that's not too big of a deal. Everything else we have in that region, so that's a really nice region to build. Uh, we already have a couple good glass producing places. Let me make sure I look at my, uh... Let's see, we can also build some more factories. I built a glass factory over here, if I remember correctly, so... That's a, this is where we probably need to build our winery and distillery places. I mean, why would we not build it here, I should say? Build it right here, build that right there. Then we also need to check out our capital, because I think our capital is actually a good place for fabric. Or well, I remember one of our places is good for fabric. Right here, there it is. There's two, oh my goodness, we have so many places over here that would be good for fabric, but they're all part of the, uh, they're all part of uh, just colonial provinces, which if we actually convert them back to our provinces, it'd be really nice. Actually, let's keep the game going just so that the war over there will finish while I'm speaking really rapidly about what we're going to be doing in the future. Okay, so there is a... This right here is where we need to build our fabric factories. Wait, keep the game going. Alright, this is where we need to build our fabric factories. Uh, let's see. Fabric factories only show only show the ones I built, just to make it simple for me right now. And then we also need to build our regular clothes factory. Uh, this... Uh, I probably and probably a luxurious clothes factory too. That way we have a good chain of of a re not restaurants, but a good chain of stuff that makes it really really easy for us. It's gonna be really cool to have that. Uh, we can also s hopefully stop tariffing as much. I I put that with a question mark because I'm not entirely sure myself. Get a little bit more up in education too, because education is also really important. Because education is the future of our country. And let's see, the British finally finished up with all their wars, so now we're officially done. 
Let's go start releasing some nations. I want to release Georgia because it's a really tiny nation and it's going to give me good enough uh, prestige. Next nation I'm going to be going after is our good friends, the uh, Egyptians. And before anyone asks, the reason why I'm not going to do like individual wars or like claim them one by one is because that's an insanely slow process. And all about and all and here in the Ottoman Empire, we are not about slow processes. We are about fast and quite frankly sometimes reckless policies. So. We're just going to go in and go conquer Egypt as quickly and eff and efficiently as possible. Plus, it would take a lot more, uh, it would take a lot more infamy to to take all of these, uh, like, 16 different regions. Actually, this is probably more like, this is 6, I know that, and this is more like 4, so 5. So it's about 9 regions. Still, though, with a 5.5 infamy, that's still, it's much cheaper to just go do a conquest and then end it. I'm a little bit worried though that I might get a little bit over our containment range just because sometimes this game likes to be a little bit of a meanie. Uh, do I believe I'm gonna- Ah, oh, I got it. Wait, no, 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 it's just rebels. Rebels are fine. And luckily we have the British- Oh no, the British are moving! Okay, we also have 27 infamy. We went over our infamy limit by a little bit. So that means I'm gonna release the tiny nation. Oh yeah, I can release this nation. Oh gosh, the little nation I just conquered. Oh gosh. Okay, release it. There we go. That nation honestly did pay did honestly pay help for us, homage for us in the end. It's still a part of our land too, which is the funny part. Is even even though it's free, it's still a part of our land, but that is hilarious. That is ultimately hilarious. Okay. Get our men up, get our producers up. Now we're starting to make some good money. Let's see if we can get to like 7% ter taxes, tariffs, whatever you want to call them. I want to make sure we're not tariffing our economy too much and start lowering our uh, taxes by like, can we go to 95 maybe? 95? Also, we should probably start repaying back all of our debts. I know we don't have much, but we should probably repay all of our debts. And we are officially debt free, everyone. Yeah. Go us for being debt free. And as you guys can see, exactly what I said, the British are now starting to migrate all their troops slowly back to their country land. Because, as you guys know, there is a little crossing right here between them and France. It's a little bit annoying, I won't deny, because I'd really prefer if they didn't do that, because it kind of does annoy me a lot. Because it really is kind of pointless to do that, but... Okay, if, if, if they're really that determined, they're really that determined. Okay, and we do have some more... We do have some more uh, places becoming back underneath our control. I'm going to put another, like, going to first take this region, because it's already done. Take this region, go right here, put our bureaucrats right there, and voila. We're just slowly starting to spread our influence everywhere. And I also believe that with our good, with our actual 100%ness over here of like colonization, I'm pretty sure that all these colonies will become like states in no time. Like, I just have a feeling, man. I just have a feeling. Okay, and we do have lots of money being lost, and now I'm making lots of money. That's good. I'm glad our static states are also going down. We finally can build. Of course not. Oh yeah, we have to really watch out for crises, especially considering that uh, we might get one that people might actually want to join in because we're kind of a uh, great power and people really like picking on great powers. And Tunis right now is getting conquered by the Frenchies. That isn't exactly the greatest thing to happen in the world, but it's not exactly uncalled for. It's not exactly something I would write a book on. Okay, and as you can see, all the soldiers are slowly going to make it all the way back to England. They're idiots. Uh, they're leaving the British colonies almost literally undefended. Uh, Britain's stupidity right now is really baffling me. Especially since I'm about to go declare war on another nation and I'm going to need your guys' help to go fight that other nation. Because, as you know, I'm not exactly a power yet. I'm still trying to get my econo economy under control. I was going to say economy, I was trying to butcher the word, but I think I butchered it so much, I don't think you guys knew what it was. So, let's see, Mosambul, I believe, is where I'm going to start building my uh, economy empire, and for some reason, we didn't discover ammunition before we discovered small arms. That makes no sense. Like, seriously, we discovered small arms, we discovered guns before we discovered ammo. What? Okay, that makes no sense. Okay, it seems like the British, at least... I guess the good thing about this though is that the British do have all the troops in one centralized area, so it should be pretty good on that. Okay, Britain, 
Wait, wait. By the way, can we make friends with two with two Sicilies? Hey, yay! They'd love to be friends with me. That's good. They're like my main rivals right now in terms of being coming a great power. Also, Russia probably wouldn't want to because they're Russian and they have to do Russian-y things, so they probably don't want to. Let's see. Let's get an alliance with the two Swedish, two Sicilies, I should say. Let's go declare war on Egypt. Conquest, let's see. Everyone's very likely to join in. That's good. All my allies join in. That's good. Let's see. Two Sicilies join in. That's good. Let's go. Just keep our soldiers right there. And then, do we have any men over here? Probably not. <laughs> Most likely all my men died in some horrible fashion, especially since we have absolutely no control over military spending. Okay, yep, they probably all died. Yeah, I think my men all died. Well, I do have a tiny army over here, but it's mostly comprised of one guard and, like, two horsemen and two infantry. Not exactly the greatest army ever, if you ask me. Alright, and now Britain's like, huh, maybe I should have sent my army back there. It was kind of seems like a stupid idea to like move all of our army from British India, and now we have nothing over there. Because now I don't know what to do. Uh, can these guys handle their? Am I really gonna go out to help them with their army problems? I mean, Two Sicilies is a really good state to have in terms of like invasion. So hopefully they will do fine on their own. But you really don't know sometimes. Sometimes the AI really does do a good job in invasions, and then other times it just stinks. By the way, I probably can't become friends with Greece. Could I? Could I become friends with Greece in this? No, I mean, just just to, just to like screw up everything. I, I guess I can't become friends with Greece, but I really want to just so I could like mess with everything. Let's see, you guys would not become friends. I have to figure out other allies I can go with. Hmm. I do have good access over here, so I want to like get some good friends over here. That'd be nice. Uh, no, please don't, because I'm pretty sure I already have a like low population as it is. I don't need anyone else dying in my place. Seriously, I don't. Okay. In terms of how the Ottomans are... In terms of how the Ottomans are fighting the uh, Egyptians, it's going... Okay, I guess? I mean... It is... Going as great as I planned it, I guess. I, I really don't know. Um... We are having a lot more difficulties, partly because we do have a, uh... Much... More aggressive foe. And considering that none of the uh, British are helping me right now. Because all the British apparently just evacuated and went to other land. Yeah, other land. It's a really good place to go to sometimes. Okay, yeah, you get to... I get to call you guys in because you guys are my vassals. So you guys come into this war. I know you guys won't actually help me at all, but... You guys come into this war because I want you guys to. And we are getting our butts kicked. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Yeah, please destroy the Egyptian army. Seriously? Okay, I think the Egyptians have mostly all died. No, they still haven't deployed yet. Dang it. Okay. Let's go send half of our fleet to go right over here. Blockade this side of the river. And to make sure that we're protected on that side of the river. There we go. We're protected on both sides of the river. So we're, we're finally fine. Also losing also losing men. Uh, aggression. Tear off, our, tear off our people again. Because that's the best way do everything. Go right here. Let's go start crushing some of these armies. So that I can see there's only two. There's only three more armies at max that they have, which is good. And now a 24 death stack army of the British are coming in. That's good. I can't wait to see that. And we have our good friends, the uh, two Sicilies coming in. I'm glad that... Oh, and the British! What the... The British just magically spawned right there! What the heck? Like, what the heck? It's like magical British people. They're just like Harold Houdini. They just poof. They're there. Wow. The British have to teach me that trick at some point. Okay. Let's go destroy these guys. Okay. Start driving back the uh, the mighty influence of the uh, Egyptians. Yeah, they're slowly getting driven back by all the uh, troops that we're bringing. And it seems like you guys are... Who are you guys fighting? Bakura. Bakura... Bakura might win this against the Afghanistan. If they move fast enough, they could probably win this. Let's move down here. And there we go. We drove back the British. I mean, not the British. We drove back the uh, people that are here. My last bits of men are about to die. Yep. That was my last bit of men. They all died. It was quite sad. Wow. Okay. So that was all my properly trained troops. Just dead and now we're gonna have to begin anew, and we have uh, new places we can actually go into bureaucracy mode. 
So let's see, bureaucracy, let's remove focus. Let's remove focus. Let's remove focus right there. Oh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And, guys, I'll see you guys next time.